Hello, friends of Golf Course Quality Fertilizer. I know you heard from me earlier today, and the yard we were in was getting super crispy. I mean, already half dormant. Uh, and my backyard, I watered right before we left on vacation, which was August 10th, no, 9th, August 9th. And then we watered right after we got back because, well, maybe a couple of days after we got back, um, cause my son didn't decide to water our yard at all. So we went through some drought and you can see some stress zones. I had old ones. Uh, and then I watered real good and deep. What was that? Three days ago or so. Now we already need it again. So here'll be number seven. Now, I don't know if it'll be a record year now, unless we start getting some good rains from here on out. Uh, but we're going to do number seven. I'm actually going to kind of cheat a little bit because I'm always caught in one of those weird zones like probably a lot of people are where you got to mow, uh, but it needs watered too. And so what I'm going to do is run around and do an hour of watering everywhere real quick. And then I'll mow it tomorrow morning or if I can this evening. And then I'll go ahead and do a deep cycle tomorrow uh, and get that all soaked in. And then with these stressed out spots, you're going to have to water those spots more often. So I know I like to say, hey, stretch out your, your waterings, but they're going to have to kind of shrink up, especially if you've already stressed out like I have. Now your watering cycles are going to be a lot closer together. If I didn't miss that and I didn't go on vacation, I probably would still be on my sixth watering and be like, I'm fine. But since it's stressed out, it'll dry out faster because now you don't have all this nice green tissue holding moisture in the ground. And so now it's just going to evaporate even faster through there and you end up in this little cycle of getting a little closer together. So you might be watering maybe every other day or every third day, but keep an eye on it. If it's doing this, where see all my feet tracks, purple color, it needs water right now. Like when I walk up to a grass and I see this, I don't even want to walk on it typically, but it is time to put water on that moment. As soon as you see it, even if it's just for a little reprieve and then you water it deep that next day, but it's really good. If you want to keep it green and not go dormant uh, and then have all these weird little yellow spots that almost looks like a disease, uh, then, yep, and we got a good example over here and it's really stressing out over here. Uh, and boy, I mean, I'll probably have a footprint now. If I mowed this, whew, it would be scorched and I'd spend two weeks waiting for it to all come back better. There's already going to be some damage, dr you know, drought stress damage. But here's the thing. I mean, we talked about this. We had all this wetness all the way up to this point, uh, and all I got was havoc, diseases, weird weeds popping up everywhere. I'd rather deal with a little bit of stress and, oh, I got to water again, uh, than weeds, bent grass. I mean, every customer who has bent grass issues and has kind of almost managed it and was like, hey, I'm on top of it. This season, the beginning with it being so wet all the way into July, not even giving it any reprieve or dryness. Man, I tell you what, their bent grass just blew up this year. So did it, all the, uh, what other, clover, clover as well, popped out real bad. So yeah, keep that watering going. I'd much rather have it like this where we're, oh, we got to water, we got to water. And even if it does go stressed out, because you know what? It's going to come in just fine. In a month, we'll never even know all this drought happened. So keep listening. Oh, you got a question. So... I think you sent out a reminder a few weeks ago to go ahead and put the, the Oh, yes. Down. Oh, yes. So You're right. That's a good question. That's right. So, yes, if you haven't got your fur down yet this season, go ahead and wait this week. Wait till next week when the temperatures cool back down. If you have fertilized already, which is fine, right, just make sure you're really staying on your watering because it's going to be growing a little extra through this heat. I know we're about halfway through it. looks like it's going to cool down about uh, later part of the week, it'll start to cool down. So just make sure you're getting your good waterings in. Maybe you're going to have to go every other day just to kind of keep holding that in place. But remember, as soon as it starts cooling down, back that off right away. Whoop, I scared my dog. Hey, thanks for listening. I hope that's all your questions. If you have any other questions, you can go ahead and email us or text me. Thanks.